I realize I messed up after uh, uh, posting the, you know, the last video. I did not tell y'all to comment on the video or anything like that, and y'all could win, you know, that. So we're gonna start right off with this video. I'm gonna do it on this video, and I'm gonna extend it all the way to Sunday since I screwed it up to give everybody a fair shot at getting entered to get the hat. Anyway, y'all be watching this on Thursday, and then I'm gonna let the uh, the drawing contest run all the way through Sunday, and then Sunday afternoon I'll do a live feed at 7 p.m. Sunday afternoon to announce the winner. And uh, so yeah, if you want to be entered in the drawing to get the John Deere cap that I'm gonna be giving away, like the video, comment down below, just drop a comment down below. Uh, I would very much appreciate it. We're, I mean, we're so close to 2,000. It's just like right there. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if y'all go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, uh, I got something special coming up. Hopefully for the 2,000, when we get to 2,000 subscribers, uh, do a big contest, and uh, that's going to be something cool. And then, um, so yeah, y'all like the y'all y'all subscribe for me like the video drop a comment down below saying I want to be entered in the say I want the hat you know just say anything just comment anything on this video and you'll be entered in the drawing anyway appreciate everybody y'all hang out y'all can watch this we got some really good footage and uh it's been a week man it's been a long week so yeah y'all just hang out watch this it's fixing me good So let's show you a little bit what we got going on here. I'm on the track cutter right now. You can see it's a, a wet looking spot and whatever else in front of me. Kind of pick y'all up a little bit. Get the glare off of the screen. But anyway, you can see kind of right in there it's a little wet and the wood's done got being picked up from here. And if you look over right there, there's a piece of wood right there. I'm fixing to shovel it from here up to that pile up there. And then I'm going to have to take the track cutter and where you see all this brush right here and everything that's kind of got knocked off the trees as he was skidding I'm going to have to sweep all that out with the, uh, the track cutter here and this this whole little from where I'm sitting right here and you see it's dry right there and it gets wet it stays wet all the way kind of through to over there just outside the shadows it kind of dries back up because it actually like goes down and then comes back up so anyway some good hand motions in there to explain to y'all <laughs> what I'm doing here. So anyway, we're, I'm, clean, I'm cleaning up this, uh, it was an access through an SMZ, and when I get it cleaned out, I'll kind of come back and show y'all what it looks like after the final cleanup job is done. Got the Timbermatic working over here again. Great. Guys, John Deere's got it running well. Kind of see that a little bit there. We're going to do a good in-depth video on that soon. And, uh, so anyway, yeah. Go hang tight. We'll be back. All right, so about, uh, it's about an hour later now. We got all the wood picked up from back there. Got the uh, SMZ cleaned up. And uh, y'all can kind of see. I mean, there's still a few little limbs down there. But those limbs there will help. That down there isn't really where the water flows. The water's flowing like right there. So where those green limbs are down there, that's just something to kind of help hold some soil together um, you can't get all of the debris back out of there without just making a big muddy mess and after it rained last night it's it's pretty uh it's pretty soft in there so we got all the wood up and and uh, got the trash you can see the trash on the other side over there like way get my finger in there right there it uh Got it all nice and pulled out and leveled up. 
kind of use that over there as a, like a water bar type thing there's a hill right there and to keep the water from eroding away down into this little bottom here is swag slough swamp whatever you would like to call it bottom it uh that'll kind of help slow the water down as it's getting to it until we have it because when we do have a big flood in this area right here where we're sitting at there'll probably be oh shoot there'd be probably easily six to ten foot of water um when the when the flood gets bad in here when it gets to flood season you know early spring late late winter early winter sometimes but so yeah it uh got everything all cleaned up through there and got the uh water passageway right here cleaned back out really pretty to where the water will flow naturally on its own back through there and preserve the smz for another day no no damage is done everything's great got our patch of timber back there and got out of here before it got too wet we're gonna have to cross probably two or three more of these things uh before we get done with this place and if it don't stop raining or it continues to rain like they're showing i don't know if we'll be able to get in there to a couple of these patches because they'll probably be too wet to cross so we'll probably just have to get the majority of this one and they'll leave the patches that we can't get until it's time to be clear cut so anyway so i just figured i'd jump in here and show y'all that what we got going on so now i am taking the seven or the 853 to the road and they will be here they should be here any minute with our uh loner skitter and i get to the road i'll give y'all an update on the on the skitter we'll be back so they got it here it's a 648l 35 fives the LED light package, the operator just tickled it. Only has like 2,800 hours. Matt's having to change the line on the 853. And I have to go do a meeting with uh, John Deere and do some uh, timber navy stuff. Or timbermatic. I said timber, timber navy because this skitter has timber navy in it as well. You can see I've been up here with the track cutter cutting all these hardwoods and everything off this side of the road opening it up so my road can get some daylight down to it bunching all that over here we will have to process that so uh yeah i'm headed up here chambers i'm headed up here to the 848 i mean 748 gonna we'll get in there and let them know that What's going on with timber timbermatic? As y'all can see, the skies are not looking very good. It is a uh, rain in the area. Yeah, yes. That's going to knock us out again. So the uh, 848, they ended up leaving because the guy was not permitted to haul a dueled out skitter. So they'll come back in the morning and grab it. And them skitters out here ain't playing. But, uh, see, so yeah, the 848 is still down. 718 is back together. Ended up with the 620. It is a, uh, the, the axle beam ex itself. Somehow or another, it's developed slack all of a sudden in it, or either the operators we've had on it before hadn't been saying anything. But regardless, we have slack in the, in the axle beams and, that's the clunking we're hearing is that it, it twisting back and forth and just pop 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 on itself so thank god is nothing major major i guess you'd say i mean that is major but it's not like oh my god major pretty sure dry shaft's not supposed to be in the cab of the machine so we'll uh we'll fire up the timber timber matic and uh i'll get get on get on the phone with these guys and get this started and uh hopefully the rain goes around us because i do not need no more rain here but anyway i'll try and uh be back in a second 
and uh, let y'all know kind of what's going on and everything. Let me show y'all a little bit of this timber and matic as it's being worked on. So anyway, y'all just hang out. I'll be uh, I'll be back. Part of timber navy. Keep calling it timber navy. When I first started working with them, it was timber navy. Now it's called timber matic. But anyway. Part of the cool thing with them, with this, you see the highlighted area there in red? That's where I was just cleaning up all the bunches that's been on the ground. And those yellow tracks are where the cutter has been. But they're connected to it right now and uh, doing some updates for me. So I'll take it down from there before we get something on there that don't need to be there while they're doing this. But anyway. So that's pretty cool that uh, I can be, I don't know, we're probably 900 miles, 1,000 miles from one another and they can remotely connect to my computer and update what I need done to improve on the, uh, you know, whatever, include me in any updates that they have on Timber, Timbermatic. So anyway, we'll... Uh, we're fixing to, as you can see, it's getting nice and dark outside, and the wind is starting to blow, so it's fixing the rain, so I am heading to, uh, back to the work truck, we're going to leave this running, for the engineers. Go see what we got going on up here. See if uh, Matt got the line changed. See what Michael thinks about his. Ooh, I don't know if y'all heard that or not. That's thunder. See what Michael thinks about his uh, new little 648. We'll be back. Well, you even put the little swirly swirly thing back on it. I just need to make one shorter for this one now. Yeah. Why every time I come over here, Matt, you're working on stuff? I like mechanical. I jinx myself. What are you working on? A line I tore up. A line I tore up? I ain't tore nothing up. It was leaking before I got to it. see it in there. Uh, I can't hardly see it in there. We had a line. Line I was talking about a while ago. Blow. Or it's been blown. It's been leaking. I'm going to say. Goes from in there through the head up here. It comes right there. And uh, thank God for deer putting these little bitty, I don't know what you want to call them, tails of hoses in there to come down to here. What all you tore up this week, Matt? Too much. What kind of noise that rubber tire make when it slung that dry shaft? Couldn't hear it. You couldn't hear it? No, all I heard was a tree, uh, me throwing the trees. And then it wasn't moving no more. It just, it just died, huh? No, it didn't die. I didn't move it no more. Woo! I think it's fixing the rain, Matt. I'm scared of lightning. You're scared of lightning. Scared of lightning. I didn't see nothing yet. Lightning ain't gonna bother you. You can't get a long wrench in there and get like a pry bar? I mean, that might be good enough that way. I was just. I feel raindrops, Matt. Hey, corn dog, I feel raindrops. <laughs> What's Michael said about his new skitter? Well, I'm sure he stopped you and he was like, a while ago, he said, Hey, you get out here, I'm getting in a truck. It will not turn. It would turn one way, but it wouldn't turn the other way. I had to go in there and set the turn to default. Oh. It would not turn. <laughs> he said, I pulled up, backed up. Pulled up, backed up. <laughs> now pull up to you and say screw. 
Uh, well, at least we had this line in the truck. We don't got to change it in the morning now. Another one. Oh yeah, I'll make a new one. Yeah, probably. I don't know why that was that one leaking in there around the crimp again, or was that one? Cause I saw it. I thought I saw it leaking off that hose in there earlier. I hear some kind of weird noise coming from a skitter. Yeah, deer's out there doing that nest. Uh, doing. I need to get some bolts. Yeah. I have to get me some boots. Oh, my bad. Anyway, it's Matt Fix tracks here. No! Look. Steel toe boots. Steel toe boots. Test. Ow! <laughs> anyway, so we got the uh, got tracks here fixed. Track cutter, track filler buncher. I don't care what you want to call it. I call it track shear. Got it fixed, and then uh, got the road daylighted a little bit. And deer be here in the morning to pick up our. 8 or 748 they brought us a 648 it's on new uh, narrow tires 35 fives Michael wants a key it's such a cute little thing sitting out there oh look at you catch it about turn it over yeah, it'll do it with them narrow tires. You better watch it. It's a cute little thing. So we got, let's see here, let's zoom back out. Got a, that's pretty sure a hard load of hardwood. And then there's probably five or six loads of pine back there. I need to get here in the morning and finish opening up the rest of this. So this is the end of Tuesday. Pretty sure we're going to include a video from Wednesday in this. Um, what's the matter with you? Can't do. Can't deal with that one. Don't miss it. You think we're gonna miss it? What are we go up this week, Mickey? Hey, y'all got steak out here? We huh? got steak. Yeah, we made steak. Hey, Ever seen Cody come out here? Michael. Hey, what kind of noise that skitter make this morning? Or yesterday morning? <laughs> Which one? That other one? Yeah, when it broke. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> 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 Michael, what kind of noise that skitter make this morning? Or yesterday morning? Which one? That other one? Yeah, when it broke. I said, my God, what happened? What was you doing when you tore it up? I was backing up and just pop, pop. I said, well, there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow time to get on the other one and then it tore up and it, you tore up two skitters in one day yeah now i got a loner now you were down to you have went through three skitters in two days that's right that means i'm a good skitter hand huh <laughs> <laughs> so uh now i gotta find my keys we're wrapping this one up we're heading to the house before we get rained in here and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey, this will be a two-day video, so y'all just hang out, keep watching. Y'all be back. Y'all, y'all's next day will start like right now. <laughs>
Wednesday morning now. See, so I just got done watching uh, kind of what took place Tuesday. Got to talk with uh, Michael there a little bit. <laughs> See what his input was on when the dry shaft left the premises of the the uh, 748 the other morning. That's his little. That's the little 648 they brought me to to uh, use till they get mine back. They, they didn't take it into the shop to fix the dry shaft. The dry shaft could be fixed in the woods, but apparently there's some kind of um, chassis update or something like that on the rear tail section of the L model skitters, and it needs to have some uh, welding fabricating done. So it's it's went to uh, dog it to get get that done. We've got the loader set out over here this is back on the heel track they have the uh we're cleaning up this set me and michael were the only ones over here mickey and uh matthew and and uh cody the new guy are still over there at the at the uh the cursed track as i'm gonna start calling it so they're still over there processing wood and everything. I finally got enough skitter stuff. We we got that demo yesterday, they, or loaner. They finally got it to us about three o'clock yesterday. Had just enough time to kind of run over it real fast, do a, a little a little checking, make sure there was nothing majorly wrong with it. You know, had to put some def in it. It was still full of diesel. Mm -hmm whoever used it last time but it's a nice little machine it only has like 2800 hours on it not like I said, it's a nice machine it's got a different seat than mine the winch is way smaller than my 748 it's got an led light package on it that's nice it's got the fenders on the back back there like the uh tiger cat that we have has which i think the fender things are like a upgrade option or something i've never really liked them on skitters i know they save your tires but i just never really cared for running one with them it has the smaller 15 foot grapple on it the standard 648 grapple my 748 has the 848 grapple on it has a 19 foot grapple but the seats uh more comfortable in this one seems to be this one also has not timbermatic, but it has a timber navy set up in it, but it's not working. But anyway, so what we're doing right now is we're just cleaning this set up. We're fixing to get this loader. We're going to drag it out to the front and set it down to where I can send a truck by itself over here to come retrieve it. And then I'm going to hook up to our mat trailer with the little 648 here. And we're going to drag it back over to the cursed Carpenter's Bridge second thinning track. It rained again here yesterday afternoon, as y'all saw. I think I said something about it raining uh, in video. There's a lot of video short clips and stuff from yesterday. I just shot with my phone just trying to... to uh, kind of keep y'all up to date how the day was going and everything so there's lots of short clips uh, but we got everything pretty well back together except for our 748 and like I said it's going to the shop to be finished put back together I think the truck the low boy and everything to pick it up was uh, just got it a while ago I, it was still there when we left but that truck driver the the shop driver had asked for our, our pin code to start it and so I'll, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be gone when I get back. And Michael is almost done with this set here. One thing I can see immediately, we'll get Michael over here in a minute. But one thing I can see immediately with the 648 is it is light. And it does not push near as well as our 748. I may be wrong, but just standing here watching it. I don't think it's pushing as well as our 748. 
which I know not having duals is going to be one thing. And just the overall weight of the machines is going to be another. I do know Michael has already stated that it is way more lighter in the nose than our 748. I do know the front section of this one is smaller than our 748. I don't know if our nose is any shorter, so to speak. They look to be the same. But it'd be cool to get them set side by side and give y'all a little bit of a comparison on them. What do you think about that one? Littler? Littler? The push is good? Yep. It does push good. It didn't look like it was pushing very good a minute ago. I put it in full of drive. It just looked like it was light, like it was wanting to scoot across top of the ground. Might be because it's taking skinny tires on it too. And, uh, it's got a smaller grapple on it. Yeah. Is it rare up more than the 748? Yeah. When I was skidding this morning, Loaded it down. Boom! Roll the wheelie. You pick one or the other. You pick that one or yours? I want the other one. You want yours back? Yeah. <laughs> but I still want them lights. Yeah, you want the lights off of it, yeah. It, uh, that one's probably rougher than that 748 too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But still the same. The seat, seat's different in it. Fit, you know, it fits different. It looks different than ours. Yeah. And it spins better. It spins better? Yeah. It spins easier? We'll let you run a little while longer and then we'll ask you more. <laughs> what you think about it? <laughs> Did it move that loader out of that set easy you got a while ago? Or yeah. It didn't, it didn't want to feel. Right yeah. Maybe we can maneuver that one with them narrow tires easier around them mud holes. Them tight curves we got to go out of in a second. That's going to be fun. Yeah. I still think it's going to want to slide. Might. Keep them bottom booms tucked all the way in to you. It'll probably be better. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Something exciting happens like we turn a loader over or something. I'll definitely be back. Hopefully we don't turn no loader over. We'll be back. Guys, we're over at the new spot. This is the, car the cursed Carpenter Bridge track removed. They're in the back. Michael's going to get on the feet. He's bogged down up there trying to get in here. It's a wet hole. I'm going to stick these signs on the sides of these culverts so my truck drivers can see where the, uh, the road starts and stops. They don't back their trailers off in this culvert. Let y'all watch him drag his truck in here. So we got everything cleaned up on the hill track. Just got the old loader sitting over there. And I may accidentally, after a while, take Michael over there. And we go just go grab that loader and bring it over here with that little skitter right there. I think it should carry it just fine. And that way I don't have to bug my truck drivers. this so as y'all can see this is pretty fresh before we moved in here 
they had the road crew come in and uh, put this new culvert down. There was one here, but it was super, super narrow, and the log truck could have crossed it, but it would have had no room. You can see uh, it sunk down just with an empty truck. I'm pretty sure we're going to need another low rock to get across it. But uh, so I'm fixing sticky signs up real fast. See them in there. Fixing to start loading on that truck. But I'm fixing to stick my my signs up where they know where the culvert ends are, and, and we'll uh, we'll be back in a minute. Something. Surely there'll be something going on the rest of the day here. We'll be back. All right. So the pup fixing to leave his last load for the day. That is number twelve, unless I've miscounted. Pretty sure that's 12. Nick, you keeping the book today? Is that 12? Uh huh. We're going to get him to learn how to yell when we talk so they can hear you on the camera. Or I'm going to have to put a wireless mic on you at all times during the day. Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> all right. So, y'all drop down in the comments right now. Is the truck going to make it across the pipe and the muddy ground? Here we go. We're fixing to find out. I bet he does. But who knows with the pup. And we're off. See if that four years of a driving experience pays off. <laughs> yeah. See if he's learned anything in these 40 years. He ain't gonna make it like that, I promise. Alright, he made it across the pipe. He ain't whooping on it. There he goes. He's around the curve. I think he's gonna make it. We're gonna say he made it for video sake. If not, I'll be back in a minute and we'll be picking on him because he didn't make it. I'm pretty sure where I can hear him see him at up there now. He made it. Okay. So that's number 12. Still only got one loader going. Michael is just tearing a bone out of it with his new little skitter. I will say this about that little 648. That is the junkiest thing I have ever tried to do road work with. I tried to just work on my rotomen to go with it. That thing is so light. It will not do road work. Back dragging anyways. You can push with it pretty good. I don't like the way the blade responds on it. But it does not like the back drag. It's not heavy enough. It just sits on top of the ground and spins. Alright, so we got the uh got about three quarters of a load. That may be a whole load though. We got the last truck going. We're going to pile up about three loads of wood. And I'll be back in a minute when we get that done. All right, Michael, you've been on the thing a day now. What do you think about it? It's too small. It's too small. That's what I thought. Be pulling that loader, hit them little holes, that thing. Try to ride a wheel, it had to slow down. I saw it rear up a few times. It's a good machine. It's just, it's too small for what we do. It's just not big enough. We have this, we have, this is the first time I've ever been around a six. Uh, the seven we have, we have had two of those. And we have an eight. And the eight we like the best. Matt up here running his mouth. Matt, you've been around the nine, ain't you? The 948? It was too big. Too big, too heavy. That one's too light. That's too light. It's too light. It may do good in the woods. I don't know, but just we've used it a lot today around on the ground and stuff. It would be good. It's good for that wet ground. It don't like this loader. I know that. 
he had the boom sucked all the way into him a while ago coming up here and he, every time he did a bump it eh, thought he was going to lose it that one time especially when he was looking at that girl mowing her grass no corn dog <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> it uh the nine bogs down though real easy. Two. It's two clumsy. Too clumsy? Way too clumsy. Like riding an elephant. Yeah. My only fault with that one was it's too rough. Too rough? Ain't 48 ways, smooth. Yeah. We had the daddy loved the way the eights handle his loaders over there. He said, Jamie, you'll grab that eight. Grab, grab, it, grab him loaded with the eights and a bog hoe, just shove him out of there. And you know, Jay will grab it with the seven, and he kind of got to work it. Still gets the job done, but the eight just does a better job. Wrap this one up. We're getting fuel. It's time to go to the house. We actually got 12 today. Nobody tore anything up. I'm not speaking too fast just yet. We've, we've made it one day. Uh, so yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be back in the morning. We're going to try again. Y'all be watching this tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Mickey's done with his diesel. Waiting on two skitters to get done with theirs. And it'll be time to go home. Alright, now. <laughs> Y'all quit wasting my diesel. Anyway. No respect for a boss man out here. So uh, anyway, y'all uh, y'all keep on uh, keep on watching. We're gonna keep on logging. And uh, appreciate everybody for watching. As I said at the beginning of the video, all the support, all the people who've been here from the beginning, the new people. Uh, it's just mind-boggling that I uh, got this many people this fast. All right, I have a expensive camera, you dick. Appreciate it, everybody. It's a lot of fun. Even when the days out here are rough. You know, it's a lot of fun to... You got it. You clear. It's a lot of fun to uh, even to do the videos even when it's been a rough day out here for us. So. Anyway, Matt's trying to throw water on me. I'm trying to go put this camera up before he gets it wet. It gets wet and it dies. My wife's going to kill me. His wife's going to kill him. But, uh, so anyway, y'all keep on watching. We'll keep on logging. As I say now at the end of my videos, y'all keep on logging. We're out of here.